AHAs, BHAs, PHAs, they all sound so complicated. When we talk about liquid exfoliants at Trinity London, I want to be able to help you understand the details and the differences between AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, and PHAs, polyhydroxy acids, because they do the same thing, but they do it in different strengths. So when we use PHAs in formulations like Tiptoe In, what we're doing is we're using acids that have a bigger molecule size, so they're gonna do the work to slosh off the dead skin cells, Alpha hydroxy acids are smaller in their molecule size, which means they can go deeper and work very effectively and are stronger. So that's why we always suggest if you have sensitive skin, stick with the PHAs, get your skin used to things, get a nice balance in your skin, and maybe you can graduate to an AHA, but don't dive in the deep end when you're learning how to swim. If you've never done any form of acid before, start with a PHA and work your way up. And then you're going to go either to an AHA, which is a sort of stronger form of that exfoliation, sloshing off the dead skin cells, giving that glow to your skin. Or you might go for a BHA, a beta hydroxy acid, which is not water based, it's oil based, and it's going to go in and get that oil and pollution and irritation, unclog that congested skin. Continual use of all of these products will really improve your skin and you'll see that improvement very quickly. And as your skin gets used to things and develops, you can grade up or go sideways, depending on the state of your skin, the time of the year and the time of the month.